No, that's the real HPIC. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. Everything I learned, I learned it from her. All right, so I'm popping into the prison warehouse right now, and I figured I'd give you guys a little look and insight because my wife Chanel and our operations manager are in there right now, and they're really the women who run Prism Lens Effects. Anna is the overarching, just operations manager, runs everything, and honestly, Chanel does work here from time to time, helping package and ship orders, but she was one of the only people with me and Tom back in our original just shack of a warehouse in downtown Los Angeles helping us build and fulfill these things so she's been there from day one um, and now she just kind of just helps helps whenever but she's down here right now so I just figured pop in uh, give them a little camera screen time and, and kind of ask them a few questions about the business oh shit For Chanel. Oh. All right, Anna. I'm giving you guys screen time today. Oh, you guys are gonna be on the vlog today. My, my, gonna... my hair is all over my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta stay ready around me now. I, I now that I'm gonna be coming down to the warehouse more often, you gotta stay ready. <laughs> Chanel, you pooping? Oh, no, you better not do that. <laughs> <laughs> but she don't want you all up in her business every day. HBIC. No, that's the real HPIC. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. Everything I learned, I learned it from her. What are you doing today? Shipping and taping boxes, baby. What's, I'm... Your, what's your role on, the, on a weekly basis? Well, I just started back here. Uh-oh, silence that. Well, I just started back here. So I used to be the main shipper, then I had kids. And I slowly trickled back in. And now I just do what she asked me to do. And at the moment, it's taping boxes. <laughs> you don't want me pulling orders because I walked down that aisle and I said to her, what the hell is a solar? When did we get a solar filter? I didn't even know we had that. There are so many things down that aisle that I didn't even know we had. That's how far out of the loop I am. She couldn't even find the kaleidoscope. I couldn't even find the OG kaleidoscope today. I was like, you know what? I literally was like, I'm not going to fill this. I was like, whatever, I'm done. I'm, I'm leaving. I'll go take the boxes because I don't know where anything's at. Feeling lost. While you're here, can you carry this to the door? I feel like Santa. <laughs> you are to these people. Right there is good. Or to the door, actually, yeah, and grab that one too. <laughs> you came in. <laughs> the shirt says what the shirt says. <laughs> what do what don't do. I do? <laughs> what don't I do? I don't do marketing, that's it. But uh, I wake up in the morning and go straight to emails, start answering emails, and then start printing orders, and then come to the warehouse and start fulfilling orders. And then back to emails. And then back to emails. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a cycle. And then the it's a behind, vicious cycle. And then the behind the scenes stuff, like <laughs> books and... Sure. Yeah. Try Literally, to keep customers from being mad at me. I said, we are a very small team, but I feel like people think we are hundreds of us working in this warehouse fulfilling orders. <laughs> when most days it's just me by myself. <laughs> Not now that I have an Annie. <laughs> so yeah, just, just a little quick sneak peek. Uh, Anna, since we moved to Arizona has kind of, we, we hired her and put her in charge of director of operations. So. Back when we were in LA, it was just kind of me, Chanel, Tom, and we had like three or four just like part-time employees helping us out. And then we decided to move from LA and we moved here to Arizona and we got this kind of warehouse space. And then ever since we did that, we're like, if we're gonna really grow and scale, we need someone who can just be in charge of all like the daily operations of running the business, um, just on the what it takes on the back end. And so she's been doing that for, yeah, the last, two and a half, three years now. I forget how long we've been here, but uh, she kind of handles all that. Then we have people that are part-time that come and help in shipping when, you know, heavy influx of orders come in. I handle a lot of product design, marketing, um, creative, uh, just top to bottom for Prism, as well as Tom. 
Uh, Tom does all that as well. Tom also focuses on a lot of the web website backend graphics and different things. Uh, we have Marshall who handles the affiliate program, runs the affiliate program, answers DMs, does kind of outreach to different creatives, whether that's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. And so, yeah, it's a small team, small core team of like five people um, on staff and salary. And then, you know, we'll seasonally hire people to come help us ship when things are crazy, like around the holidays, Black Friday, big, you know, flash sales, etc. So this is a quick, quick sneak peek at some of the behind the scenes and the people. I wish Marshall was here. I'll get him on the next vlog. We'll, we'll talk to him and see what of his, his um, you know, his insights and, and what he does for the, dude, I'm losing, I'm rambling now. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, peace. Finally, it is here after two to three days of back and forth, not being delivered to my house and sent here, but it's not here. And then it goes back to the warehouse. Oh, it's seemingly going back to California. No, now it's back in fucking CVS and we got it locked down. I'll have to unbox this for you guys. All right, so <laughs> I don't know why I bought this, honestly. Uh, I've been getting into, I haven't bought gear in so long. And then all of a sudden I've just gotten on this tirade of buying a bunch of gear from my Fujifilm GFX 100 S2 to the TT Artisan lens to the GFX lens for that Fuji to now this lens, the Blazar anamorphic 45 millimeter 2.0 Remus uh, lens. Don't ask me why I bought it. Well, actually I'll, <laughs> I, uh, I bought it cause I, I had a set of Viltrox anamorphics that I sold, uh, cause I just wanted to put that money towards something else. And I really wasn't shooting as much and I barely ever pulled them out. And then all of a sudden I've just, I've hit this wave of like, I just want to start shooting more for prism, prism lens effects, the YouTube channel and doing more content. And I was like, you know what? I don't need a full set of lenses, but I'll pick up one that I can shoot with. And um, yeah, so I bought this pretty, pretty affordable lens. So yeah, I'll have to check back in with you guys once I officially open it and use it and have some feedback to give to you guys. But thousand dollars for what seems to be a solid anamorphic lens, pretty good deal. So I'm training for a marathon and I'll probably talk about that in a separate video more at length as to why I'm training for a marathon. But I want to start sharing more fitness stuff just with my community. Cause I think, like I said in the last video, it's important that we as creatives, artists, business owners don't neglect our health because if we don't have our health, it doesn't matter what we've done or achieved. It's all meaningless if you're not healthy to be here to enjoy it. So today's workout kind of do doing a little more low impact instead of running outside one, cause it's really hot Two, my legs are sore. My knee hurts a little bit. And so this is one of my favorite bikes or pieces of equipment for endurance work and high intensity work. And I'm doing something what's called 10 twenties, which is I'm doing eight sets of high intensity, 10 seconds, full speed on this echo bike, along with then followed by 20 seconds of just like basically resting work where I do this, then 10 second sprint, 20 second resting work, do that cycle, that superset eight times. I already did it once, it takes about four minutes on here. I'm, gonna, I'm in my rest period right now. I'm gonna follow it up and do it again, rest, do it again. So I'm gonna do three sets today. And then I'll probably end up doing some other auxiliary stuff, sauna, et cetera. But that's kind of my main work today. These high intensity intervals, working on speed and endurance, low impact. This thing is fucking great though. Shout out to Rogue. My whole home gym is built with Rogue equipment. So Rogue, if you see this, throw me, throw me some gear for the gym, please. Um, but yeah, let's get back to it. That's fucking brutal. 
Uh, that was my second set. I did the one interval, eight sets, 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I did two of those. I'm resting about two to three minutes in between each of those. So I got one more set to make it three total. And then I might do, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I might do some abs. Definitely gonna sauna. One of the smartest, best purchases ever made was getting that thing. Um, some of my best ideas come in the sauna. And honestly, at the gym working out, when those endorphins are flowing, blood's flowing, the ideas just hit you, man. I think that's why it's important too. It's a great way to break up the monotony of a day, get the blood flowing, creative ideas start flowing. But I got one more set. And again, shout out Raw Nutrition. They sent me a huge care package of a lot of their supplements, which are helping me train for the marathon. And I will probably after this show you guys kind of on the daily what I take just in my daily nutrition, supplements before a workout, during a workout, after a workout, etc. It's kind of always changing just depending on my fitness goals, but I'll share what I'm currently using right now and taking. So time to get back to this third set. Real quick, little just life lesson, motivation, uh, source of inspiration, if you will. Something that I've been thinking about recently is how at the moments in my life in which I was the most successful, making the most money, not that I'm not successful right now because very much am, but I'm just saying on my growth and journey coming up, it's when I was focused on things that I truly loved and I truly enjoyed in which I saw the most progression, success and growth, not only in my career, but my bank account as well. And I think it's something right now, it's really hard for a lot of people to focus on that because they're just like, I just need to survive. I just need to make money. I need to survive. I want to make the most money possible. People are always flexing money and stuff online. And so they feel behind and they, they need to compete with that. And that's the wrong mindset to have. And if you're doing something for the money, specifically because you think you can make a lot of money doing this or, oh, I can get rich quick doing this, you're going to fail. You're going to burn out. You're going to flop. I've done it. I've done it where I'm like, oh, I can make a lot of money doing this and it just never lasts and it, it just never happens. Or if it does happen, it's very short lived. And so I say all this to say, build everything that I've built over you know, the course of my career that has lasted or stood the test of time and continues to, to grow and scale and bring me uh, you know, money and revenue and other jobs or whatever are the things that I was truly, truly passionate about and that I truly wanted to do and like to do and wasn't pursuing just because I thought I could make some good money doing it. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. That just kind of crossed my mind. So hopefully that helps you guys in some way. I was just having this discussion with my wife yesterday as we were actually both leaving here in the prison warehouse. And she asked me if I ever thought or dreamt of prison being where it's at today, because for those that don't know much about you know, prism lens effects and how, uh, you know, we got our start. It really just did start as like a fun side project, passion project that Tom and I started in LA in this like tiny shared garage space where we wanted to find a way, you know, for our music videos to create like a mountable prism. Uh, cause we were just always dancing, you know, different pieces of glass and things in front of the lens to make like, you know, our images, stand out just cool effects for music videos transitions etc so it really just started as that and then when we saw like people really wanting the wanting them and the demand for it we, you know it just turned into a business and it's just grown over the years and and it's really always up until this point i mean i talked about it in my last vlog kind of been like this side project amongst all the other things that we do and, you know, we've kind of made the decision moving forward to like put more of our focus and energy and attention onto it. But even still just seeing what it's become, the the amount of orders and customers that we have around the world to seeing the amount of products and SKUs that we have in the warehouse now. Um, and just like, you know, even going through the box of like old prototypes and things that we've uh, kind of worked on developing and just bringing ideas to life and having an idea for a product, getting a CAD, getting a prototype, uh, getting it made, 
putting it out there online and people buying it from around the world, like it's pretty wild. Like when you really sit back and think it's like, definitely didn't ever think or imagine we'd get to this point because I don't think that was ever the goal. I think the goal was to, it was something that we were passionate about and we wanted to, to make and see in our own work and out of that passion and, and wanting to have fun and, and make something uh, we recognize the opportunity for a, a business to be to be born and, and turned it into a business. And then, yeah, I mean, and up to this point, too, we're all self-funded. We've never taken outside dollars or investments. And that's something that I've always been very proud of uh, that we've done with, you know, our studios and Tropic Color and everything. Like we just launched the space shuttle, which I'm sure I'll talk about, whether in this vlog or another vlog. Like we we never ask people for money. We've never done like Kickstarters to try and raise money. Like we've always used our own money, invested our own time and money into the stuff and projects that we want to do, even to my short films. Like I don't go and raise money or ask my followers for money. And that's something I take a lot of pride in. And I'm very thankful and blessed that I've been able to do that. And, you know, it's also because of like, your guys support like if, when you support the products and the businesses and stuff we're able to continue to reinvest and, and and invent things and and just continue pushing forward and innovating and doing cool stuff so i just want to say thank you um because yesterday was a cool just kind of reflection moment of like wow like this is pretty cool so appreciate y'all just wanted to say that oh actually you know what since i'm here and these are here like something that we're really excited about is the new <coughs> magnetic mounts um, and magnetic mount filter system uh, and filters that we just designed and are getting ready to release. I don't think they'll be out by the time of this vlog, but shortly after this vlog, they should be ready to be ordered. But it's really cool. It's very simple. This is a magnetic, I guess you could call it like female end. This would thread onto your lens, super thin, lightweight. This would live on your lens and then all of the filters which are very thin this is the uh, one of the nd filters this is a 1.2 we have a variety of them here's some of the dream effects ones but they just stack like so this would be on your lens and it just clips in and it's not gonna go anywhere it's very strong and then you know inversely the dream would also just magnetize right to it and I can infinitely stack all of these together. Just keep stacking, stacking, stacking. So we're very excited about this new system. This was the second or third iteration. I think on the final design, we really wanted to make sure there was these notches uh, on the end to help you grab the filter off of the rings or off of each other, as well as like some ridging to help shift or move. And again, to help with just grip and gripping the filter, whether you're trying to hold it, attach it, remove it, etc. But we're super excited about these. The new mag mount filters and system will come in all of our various different filters that are flat. So none of the like heavy protruding glass elements like kaleidoscope and, and ghost effects, but anything that's flat from, you know, the diffusion filters like Dream, uh, Cinesoft, Nostalgia, Rose, to the ND filters, to you know, the Starburst effect filter, Moody filter, all of those types of filters um, will be available in this mount. We're very excited for the for the new uh, new build, new iterations of uh, these filters. So yeah, it should be out soon. Go check it out, Prism Lens Effects. Follow us on Instagram, appreciate y'all and excited. I got some <clears throat> really exciting stuff that I'm working on with Prism over on the YouTube channel. So go subscribe on YouTube where we, we've got some really cool content planned. That's like I said in the previous video where I'm going to be focusing and putting all my energy in terms of like making YouTube videos over there. And then this channel will be more of just like documenting my life, businesses, behind the scenes of things with uh, my phone and giving you guys a raw look and take at everything that I do. So yeah, appreciate it. All right.